Hi guys, welcome back to another HIO free to play walkthrough. So today we have a wave of lights, which I'm hoping is like as well written as the Kai Hey Hey Yo whatever uh, I can't remember the name Japanese name without the as much murder and torture as that one had. So this looks like it's gonna be a cute little visual novel. I was going to play uh, There Is No Game, but then I saw all these people being like, Oh, there is no game, so I can't do a review on it. And then I just kind of lost. <laughs> and then I lost interest in it. So, <laughs> hey, now we're going to read a cute visual novel. And I'll go to the About page after we play through the game, because the About page is glitched where you can't go anywhere if you click it. I woke up late again today. But that's fine. It's quiet now. No one, No one's around. No one is around. The air is pleasant. The sand is cool beneath my feet. It's nice. I like being out here like this. It does look really nice. Except, well, I woke up at 9 p.m. again. That's less good. Screwed up sleep schedule, dog. My roommate is probably mad at me. I hate when she's mad at me, but she's not my favorite person either, so I guess it's not that big a deal. Uh, conflict. I like her cats more, and they like me. The cats accept me. I'm one of their people. They don't really expect or need anything of me, except to be a warm body for me to, for them to use. Which I'm more than happy to do. Maybe my roommate will get replaced by a cat. You just have to dream. Weep. Oh god, did I really make that noise? Okay, okay, I'm alone here. Nobody could have heard. If someone heard that. Dun dun dun. So someone heard that flag. No, no one's around. It's late, everyone's asleep. I'm the only one here. But what was that? I can see something down in the water and someone's standing on the beach. I take a deep breath, calming myself down as best I can. I ho should make sure they're okay. What if they're injured? I can leave once I make I'm sure they're okay. Or I'll, or I call for help. I run down the beach as fast as my legs will carry me. Which admittedly isn't very particularly fast, I think. I might die. You need to exercise, boy. You've been running for <laughs> not even a minute before I get there. Wait. They. Is. They is what? They are? Is she a cosplayer? Oh, she's an alien, dude. Maybe she is a cosplayer, I don't know. An actress. Did I stumble onto a movie set? I don't think I need to save in this game. I'm breathless, but not for the reason I thought I would be. I... I don't know what to do. Do... do I say something? She looks like she's getting annoyed. Of course I do, but what? Hello. I'm... Angeluxia. Ambassador of Oceanocte. What a... what a name. I hope I pronounced that right. You may call me Angie if it's, that's easier. Is this Earth? It, it is. I... You're not from here? No, not at all. No, not at all. You're one of the homo, homo sapiens. The only sentient species on this planet, correct? Do I look like a homo sapiens to you? Well, yeah, kinda. Except for, uh, the antenna? Antennae. Antenna. She has an antenna. They remind me of an anglerfish. She does not look like an anglerfish. Terrifying. Is she trying to lure me in? Am I her prey? You better not eat us. I'll be real pissed. If she turns into an anglerfish, that would not be cool. There are probably worse ways to die than being eaten by a pretty alien girl. But maybe this is the worst way to go. Wow, we are monologuing in our head. I hope she can't read minds. Or maybe it doesn't matter. My heart's going a million miles a minute anyway. Maybe it'll fail first, and I won... I think there are a few more things that make me clearly not the same species, but yes, a ten eye. A ten -a. Yeah, she can read minds. I knew it. I'm talking to an alien. I'm talking to an alien. They're real. My parents were right. They were crazy. Is, uh, is your ship gonna be okay? Oh, it can repair itself. There's nothing to worry about. Well, isn't that convenient? I just don't want to be stuck inside it all night. The crash landing made me a little claustrophobic. As you might imagine. I can't at all. I've never even been in a plane, let alone a spaceship. 
Especially not a spaceship that crashed. She seems calmer than I would expect an alien to be. Are you okay? Go Are you gonna be okay out here? What do you mean? Aren't you afraid of getting kidnapped by the FBI or something? Or maybe it's the CIA that does that. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> um... And... Angeluxia? Did I just hallucinate the whole thing? Well, the spaceship's there, it's still there. I can see it. I already knew I was crazy, but did I get crazier? I'm at the that age where mental illness is that you're genetically dis predisposed to kick in sometimes. There's no history of hallucinations with my parents that I know of. Does that run in the family? Hallucinations? What? Oh my god, I don't want to hallucinate pink alien girl standing on the beach. What? Why not? There's enough wrong with my head. I don't need something else to... There's nothing to worry about. I can turn invisible if ne as needed. So you're just messing with me now. My heart stopped. I'm dead. I'm definitely dying right now. My heart went so fast it just stopped. Are you okay? Are you afraid of me? No, no, I'm fine. Sorry. I'm more afraid of talking to my roommate than I am of talking to you. For now, anyway. She, I can't tell when she's monologuing in her head and when she's talking to her. I thought when the, her name was at the top, she was talking, and this is when she's talking to herself. But it's hard to tell because I think she can read our mind. There's always a chance of me, for me to be afraid of something new. Maybe eventually I'll become agoraphobic. Agoraphobic. What's agoraphobic? Agoraphobic. Having extreme irrational fear of entering open or crowded places. Then I'll finally run out of things to be afraid of. I mean, you're not scared, you're cute. Not that I meant that in a weird way, I meant mean it in a normal way. Da 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 da. Why do I ever talk to anyone? My parents definitely thought aliens were weird. Or real. <laughs> were real. So I always kind of wondered if there was something out there. So, uh, you kind of proved there is? So I'm not afraid of aliens, like, conceptually. You seem pretty nice. I'm just a little jumpy. I always am. Why did you wonder? Huh? Earth and Mars are neighbors. Surely you know about Martians. No, I had no idea. Hmm, I suppose that makes sense. Martians are pretty reclusive, also a little xenophobic. Well, that's fair. We're terrifying. I wonder if the government knows it and they're hiding it. That would make sense. People would go crazy if they knew. I'm glad that the Martians don't seem interested in us based on what Angelou... Angeluxia... I forgot how to say her name. Angeluxia... Angie's saying. I don't need more sleepless nights. Days, rather. Thinking about aliens attacking Earth. I guess I learned something new today. More than one thing. Aliens are real. So, how long is it going to take to repair your ship? What's she doing? She just spacing out? Calculating. Uh, approximately eight hours. Eat? Now I wish I was dead. What a childish sound to make. Poor no one heard it, but now she has. I'm an embarrassment to society and the human species. Oh my god. What if she goes home and tells everyone we're useless and embarrassing and plans our deaths and... Is there anything fun to do here, around here? I'm hungry. What do you people eat anyway? My studies have generally been very broad and I'd like to gather more accurate data. Well... I really don't want to go home and I especially don't want to go home with an alien in tow. I could get you something from the convenience store maybe. Great. We're showing aliens our first food, convenience store food from a gas station. What, um, kind of things do you like to eat? Hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. Show me. I stare at space where she once was and nod. She's invisible. It should be fine until she starts picking up stuff. Oh, this whole situation is so surreal, though. Aliens are real, and I'm taking one to the convenience store. Well, we really know how to treat them.
What's in the bottle, Hannah? It's really weird to have an invis alien invisible next to me, whispering word questions to me. Hope the cashier doesn't hear me whispering back. I hope they can't hear either of us. Some kind of orange soda. What about this one? Which one? Brown has spots. Chocolate milk, it's sweet. I want that one. Are any of these going to hurt you? Unlikely, nothing on Earth that I'm aware of is particularly toxic to our species. And except what about the air? It could be like the freaking, what was that uh, alien movie? The day after, t no, what was it called? I don't remember. Oh, War of the Worlds, where they come out of their ship and they're dying. Aside from uranium and tomatoes and tomato byproducts. I don't like tomatoes either. Tomatoes? I can show you a report of how they interact with our bodies and why we can't process them if you like. No, no, I'm alright. I take a breath and grab the milk for her. I feel like I'm shaking inside. Too much energy with nowhere to go. Angeluxia doesn't seem to notice though. She doesn't seem to think much of anything so far about me and as far as I can tell. Which probably means I'm being weird and she thinks I'm being weird but isn't saying anything. Oh well, I can live with that. Just gotta keep moving. Luckily, however, we aren't allergic to corn. Corn? What's that got to do with anything? Your plastics are made of corn, and it's in almost most everything else. Your pesticides, your manufactured foods, it's inescapable. I look at the bottle of milk in my hand. The bottle of milk. The plastic has corn in it. It's honestly quite fascinating how your people put managed to put corn in literally everything. I'm thankful you haven't done that without tomatoes. I haven't done that with tomatoes. Somehow this information is both earth shattering and also something I don't know what to do with. God dang Iowians and without them our corn population wouldn't be high enough to do that. I guess count my blessings that I'm not allergic to corn. Hannah, what is this? We make our way quietly through the rest of the store, picking up many, many snacks. I have savings for my last job, thankfully. I go to pay and feel my face flush when I keep putting more and more snacks on the counter. They're definitely going to think I'm some kind of weirdo. A weirdo who buys way too much junk food. There's $30 worth of food here. I can feel my face heating up. Thank you and have a good evening, ma'am. Thanks. Finally, we head back to the beach. I need to stop right clicking. Stop right clicking, hand. No more people today. Oh, well, human people, anyway. I can't believe I have to clarify that now. My world has become very different in just a couple short hours. Your temperature seems to have gone up. Are you alright? Did something happen, or are you supposed to get warm when interacting with other humans? I was under the impression that it usually ha happened next. When intercourse was going to... Nothing's the matter. I definitely said that way too loud. I quickly made my way out of the store. The cool sea air and welcome change on my too warm face. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Food acquired. I don't think chocolate milk's food though, but whatever. S sorry about what happened back there. It's definitely not intercourse related, okay? People get warm for a lot of reasons. There's something wrong with me. I don't know what. I mean, I do, but I don't know why I'm like this. I'm I'm afraid of people, which is stupid. They're everywhere. It's not like I can avoid them. But I can't tell what they expect of me and what they're thinking. And it stresses me out a lot. It makes me, my heart race, and it makes me all warm and sweaty, even in the, if it's the middle of winter. Hmm. That's interesting. Sounds unpleasant. It definitely is. I've had a lot of fights with my roommate my roommate about this kind of thing. It's not great. So why don't I scare you? I'm a little taken back about that by that. I guess because you don't have any expectations of me like people do, probably. Wait. Or or do you did you have expectations of me? Do you think I'm weird? I'm sorry if I've done anything off to off. You're not uniquely weird. You're only weird in the sense that, so far, I think all humans are a little bit weird. I've only seen three so far, though. 
And regardless, you're helping and feeding me. So you're the best human by far. Who's the third one? There's the cash register, there's me, and who's the mystery third? Oh. The thanks. We sit, and I let her pull of whatever she wants out of the bag to taste first. Which leads to her taking a single bite of quite a few things, making a face, and handing each one back to me. Is there something particular you don't like? Sodium. There's a lot. It's akin to drinking the ocean. Oh, then, uh, try this. I hand her one of the snack cakes out of the bag, and she happily accepts it. Hmm. I do like this. I wish it was stronger, though. Stronger? The sweet flavor. I wish there was more of it. Fortunately, I think that's as sweet as it gets you unless you want to eat straight sugar. I'm a little scared. How can she want something even sweeter than a cream filled snack cake? They're already disgustingly sweet. It'll do for now then. We fall into silence as she eats it, looking pleased despite her complaint. My eyes fall on her antennae. Antenna. God dang it. The glow comes and goes, dimming and getting brighter at certain er at interval, even intervals. Hey, um, can I ask a question? Hmm? What kind of place is your home that you would need glowing antenna? I hope that wasn't rude of me to ask. She came from the bottom of the ocean. She didn't come from space. Oh wait, she did come from space. She knows about Martians. It's very dark. Our sun doesn't hit Ocean Octa very strongly. It's warm due to the structure of our planets and the core being closer to the surface than most other planets. But it's very dark. It's been that way forever, so we all have a way to see in the dark like this. Whoa. It's strange to think that the planet will get so bright in just a few hours, even if I'll be gone by then. Before then. I've been on other planets with daytimes like that, but it never ceases to fascinate me. I was many years into my childhood before I saw a sun on my planet, and you see the sun every day. It's strange. I don't know how to tell her. I was haven't really seen the sun in a few weeks now. I think that would be depressing to hear, maybe. And even a little rude. I have this thing. Excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, God. I have this thing I can see all the time that sh she never gets to see. And I take it for granted by sleeping through the day. Well, I don't feel like I'm really taking it for granted. That's just how things work here. But I don't want her to think badly of me. I look at Angie again and start to see her staring off into space. She's done that a couple times now. I'm honestly really curious. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm talking to my ship. Oh, like with uh, telepathy or something? Something like that, yes. Is it an AI? No? She's my friend. Her name is Tamir. Anyway, she's reported that repairs are taking going to take longer than initially planned. And she needs calcium. What has calcium in it? Chocolate milk. Her friend? I feel like I'm missing something critical here, but the way she said it was so straightforward, I would feel like I'll look like an idiot if I ask. Milk and she shells have calcium. Her ship is her friend. Bones, some other stuff, probably. Hmm. She starts digging through the bag of snacks we brought and reading over the labels on them, putting them back in the bag after. Picking up a pint of ice cream, she sells on that and walks over to her ship. With what seems to be a well-practiced toss, she throws it to her ship, and the entire pint of ice cream is absorbed into what I thought was a solid ship's hull. A moment later, the empty tub and lid pop out, dropping to the water's surface with a splash before Angie retrieves them. The ship is alive, and it needs calcium. I don't understand this. This is so weird. I don't know what to do with this information at all. Probably I should be a little freaked out. But then again, Angie ha hasn't done anything to hurt me so far, so a weird living, maybe breathing spaceship probably won't either. Angie comes back and joins me again. My ship liked it, uh, but sh less sugar is preferable. Um, can I ask a question? Hmm? Why calcium? Why wouldn't it? Um, why wouldn't it be calcium? Don't Homo sapiens work the same way? 
What do you mean? Calcium helps your bones grow. Are you telling me your ship has bones? Well, yeah, don't yours? We don't have them. Oh. N no, they're made of metal. How inferior. I don't think my I mind our ship's not having bones. We spend the rest of the evening on the beach. Angie asking me to look up things on my phone to see what does and doesn't have calcium. And what is and, what, and isn't accessible. In the end, milk and seashells are the most practical and easy to find. She seems disappointed that we can't get bones, but I don't even know where to get any. Yeah, this game would take a very dark turn if we were going cl bone collecting. Before I know it, the sky is changing colors. The first light of the day, my usual signal that I've been awake far too long. <sighs> Hannah? Y yes? I need a place to sleep. You should take me in for the day. <laughs> what? Surely you want to make a good impression on my people for the good of humanity. I'm not sure that I do, but... After all, I am an ambassador. Oh, your highness. Say no more. I don't think my roommate would appreciate that. What's more important, being a good host to an entire other species or having a cranky roommate? You have a point. I don't know, I have to live with the cranky roommate. You're just here for like the night, probably. Okay, you can have my bed. Trick question. I'm so, so tired. I barely slept. How could I? Angie and sister, we share the bed, which is big enough, but... She's... she's a cuddler. She looks really cute when she's sleeping. Can't believe I shared a bed with a cuddly alien. She's soft, and though her skin is weirdly smooth. She's not as warm as a person is. She's cooler to a touch. Maybe that's why she was so cuddly. Does sharing a bed mean anything to aliens? Does it mean anything to me? I'm overthinking, surely. It's only been a day since we met. Oh right, I'm here for milk. As much milk as I can carry. I'm not looking forward to this. I grab one, two, three, three gallons. Ah, ah, ah. I can't handle more than that. I can barely handle this. But somehow, thinking how cute she was last night is giving me strength somehow. Even when the clerk raised an eyebrow at me, I know he thinks I'm a huge freaky weirdo. <laughs> after, all, who, after all, who buys three gallons of milk at 10 p.m.? Me. Coming back to the beach, I see Angie throwing shells to her ship, <laughs> and I set the milk down on the sand. I can't feel my arms. I'm never doing anything again. That's the spirit. Anna, thank you. Y you're welcome. She seems a lot more chipper today. Taking a gallon at a time, she carries each one into the sea, so she's close enough to toss it into onto her ship. Like yesterday, the gallons vanished, and then a few seconds later, the empty container of cat, cat pop out. Ooh. I have a lot of questions about how this works, but I feel like if I ask, while well, Angie would be happy to tell me, I had, had to find out that the ship was a, has a bunch of suckers under the surface or something. I don't think I really want to know how it works at all. She comes back with the empty container, setting them next to me in the sand. Repairs are at 50% completion now. She says she's feeling a lot better too. Can we get more milk? Mm, not tonight. The clerk is going to think something's up if I buy more. No one buys this much milk in the middle of the night. You wouldn't look strange if your people had living ships like ours. This would be a very average thing to do. I just stare at her. You are being dang difficult. I don't think it would make a difference, really. Normal people still wouldn't have spaceships. Mm, maybe so. I won't make you get more milk today, I suppose. I wouldn't want my host to be inconvenienced. And I don't want you to be too uncomfortable to help me. After all, I think people would notice floating milk. So I'll be patient for your sake. Oh, um, thank you? For some reason, that makes me happy to hear. Which is also kind of depressing and stupid. Like, being happy that someone is hitting this bay. 
very low bar of not making me do something I don't want to do is kind of pathetic. But still, she seems sincere, I think. Which is good enough for me. Though also, being with Angie in general is kind of nice. She doesn't make me feel weird, and she doesn't look at me like I'm weird. Of course! She doesn't call attention to anything, she just... She thinks is weird about me. God, I can't... There even is anything she thinks is weird. Is this how you're supposed to feel around with people when you're normal? Do normal people just go through their days like this, existing around other people and not being terrified of them? I don't know if I've ever felt... If I've ever really felt that before now. It's always been one thing or another. I've always been weird. Weird, jumpy, skittish, weird interests, weird for having parents that so openly believed in aliens in this tiny town. It's weird that I don't like going outside. It's so weird that I'm so shy. Weird, weird, weird. And Angie doesn't remind me that remind, doesn't remind me that I am at all. I think I could live with being a weirdo with a friend like her. Oh, Hannah, can we get milk from this other store? Where did she get my phone? When did she get my phone? She shows me the location of the other store and my heart stops. No, 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 no. Nope. We can't. Why not? Well, now she's going to think I'm a freak. So much for that. I can't even begin to explain the problem to her, though. I'm just, it's so stupid. I'm so stupid. Hmm, fine. She gonna hate me now? Why am I like this? I have to say, I find Earth pretty fascinating so far. I like the idea of sharing beds. It's not something we do. Oh. Oh my god. I don't know how to say that's not a really a thing we do either. Unless you're a couple, which we aren't. I guess this tells me she doesn't think anything of it. And I quite like your oceans. They remind me of home. Though they're quite different from ours. Ours are much calmer. No, none of these giant waves like yours. You talked about it a little bit earlier. You're not like aquatic aliens, right? No, we're land dwellers. Though there are some floating island communities. It's hard to believe, even as she sits next to me, there, that there's another planet out there full of life like ours. Is there um anything else you can tell me? It's interesting to hear you talk about your home. I I can yes. As I've mentioned, I'm an ambassador. My family is really growing up. I always... Wait, Tennyson? My family is really growing up. I always got to travel with them and learn about other planets and their people. I've read up on many others that I have, I've never seen. Earth was one of them, which is how I knew about your primitive level of technology. To be fair, though, we wouldn't be so advanced without the... Pavarmus people's assistance. Pavarmus? Yes, they're the species that we use for our ships, like Tamir. They sought refuge on our island a few hundred years ago, and they have exoskeletons that they can adjust their shape while retaining durability. We're able to reinforce them with alloys to allow them for space travel. We work together. The Pavarmus... Pavarmus... Allowing us to travel far beyond our own planet and travel with ease on our own. In exchange, we protect them from other colonizing races. They're not built for battle on their own. They're all defense and invasion without the ability to attack. Are you built to attack? That's the question. It works out for us, too. It works out for us to work together. That sounds cool. I can't believe all of this is out there. Sounds nice. I suppose it is. I am quite fond of Tamir. Now tell me about Earth. I want to know more about beyond more beyond this beach and the store. Um, I don't know. It's not like I'm a particularly big fan of this place. The food can be pretty good. I disagree. Is that it? Uh, tell me about the people. They're intimidating. I don't do much with them. Then what do you do for fun? I don't know. This, I guess. So on the beach in the middle of the night? Yeah. Talking to you is the most fun I've had in a while. Well, none of this is any good for my knowledge base. I need to come back with something to justify this adventure. 
I need to make it look deliberate and not like I sit borrowed one of my family just oh stole borrowed one of my family ships uh, why why would you do that I just wanted to I didn't mean to go through a wormhole and crash here it was supposed to be a quick trip to one of the neighboring planets that's it but I messed up it didn't occur to me before that before now that Angie was a daredevil though maybe it should have now I have to pretend I did this on purpose and that it was worth it. So, this was a joyride gone wrong? Joyride? Oh yes. <laughs> Why don't you just tell them it was an accident? I'll get in trouble for using Tamir without permission. I don't know. I think you can take back some useful information. I don't want her to get in trouble. How many of your people have been to this specific beach? I think you have unique information that your people probably don't. I think you're right. They also haven't met you, my very helpful friend. That makes something warm flutter in my chest. I know she can't see inside my head, can't see all the racing thoughts, but it's been a while since someone called me a friend, and they didn't say it with that, and they didn't say it with a hint of embarrassment. All right, Hannah, you're go you're helping me gather some more shells for Tamir, and we're sharing the bed again after that. That was the best sleep I've ever had, and I'm not giving it up. G got it. I can't argue with that. I barely slept, but it was very... It, was, it wasn't unpleasant to have her in bed with me at all. Maybe tonight I can get some actual sleep. And maybe I can focus on how nice it is to lie next to someone instead of being stuck in my head all night. Dun dun dun. The ship disappeared. What? How did your roommate get so many? And they're all so unique. Don't steal her seashells. God dang it. How do they come in so many different colors? I made sure to take a lot of photos of, for documentation purposes, but I still have so many questions that I'm not sure we have the answers to. Like, some are so much fluffier than others. All the cats. I've never seen so much biodiversity in such a small area. I don't know. Cats are just like that. I feel sick. I slept really well this time, I guess in part because I was exhausted. I would like to take them home, but I'm not sure they would survive on my planet or the journey. I don't know much about transporting animal life, except that it's heavily discouraged. But I like them so much. I don't think my roommate would be happy if you took any of her cats. He does love them. <laughs> but I love them too. I think I'm very fond of them at least. I can't stop thinking about the note my roommate left on my door, telling me to stop sleeping all day and start applying for jobs. She's not wrong. God, I'm such a screw up. I hate this and I hate me. Can't tell her I've been helping an alien, but it wouldn't matter anyway. Fact is, I don't have a job. I've been sleeping all day, and both of the, those things have been a problem for a month before Angie showed up. Hannah? I hate being like this, and knowing I'll only ever be able to be able to be like this. Anna! Sorry, I spaced out a little. I can see that. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> she steps right in front of me and stops, blocking me from moving forward. I need you to understand that as an ambassador, it's my duty to represent my people well, and I need to make sure my host is happy. So for practical reasons, I need to know what's wrong. I can't help but laugh when she says that. She's so intense, and it's a little hard to take, but it's equal parts endearing. What's funny? Nothing, nothing. Sorry. Uh, my, um, my roommate is mad at me again for not having a job, and for not being in school, or doing anything useful at all, really. Uh-huh. She's so serious and focused, I have to wonder what's going through her head. She look. She's looking at me like she, this is a problem to be solved and one that she will solve. Yesterday, I didn't want to go to the other store because I used to work there for all of a month until I got fired for just not showing up without warning. Were you ill? No, just scared. I'm always kind of scared, but I couldn't bring myself to face my coworkers and the customers and spend another day feeling like I'm under a microscope. Hmm. She's quiet for a long, long moment before speaking again. Ah, deductive reasoning. I think maybe that was the wrong job for you. You've been an excellent host for, after all. 
and the job of helping the ambassador of Oceanate is far more important than working at the store. And you've done a wonderful, been doing a wonderful job of that. Her confidence and happiness is infectious. Strong enough that I feel a little less useless hearing that. I feel a little less like a failure, and a little more like I can do things. Thank you, Anki. It, that helps. I I really like her. She's so different than, from everyone I've known, just on a personal like, personality level. She's bright and fearless, but she doesn't push me away or blind me with her energy. I don't feel like I can't be by her side, that I don't deserve to be in her presence. I want to be just a little more like her. Ooh, let's go to the store for more milk. Oh, weren't you afraid of that cashier would think you were weird? I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, we're back. Give me the milk! Oh my god, he's staring at me again. And he's staring at the three gallons of milk. And this was the same person who rang me out before. I'm going to die. I want to die. He's judging me. I pay and leave quickly, impressed with myself for not crying on the spot. Hannah, I can tell you're panicking, but it went fi fine. And besides that, it's my understanding that humans on the level of social hierarchy see much weirder things every day. True. The entire walk back, Angie's been telling me all the reasons I shouldn't care about the cashiers looking at me weird. I appreciate it, but he definitely thought I was weird. Oh, the ship's back. Give me the milk and I'll give it to the mirror. Find some she cells if you can. She's looking much better than before when I check over her stats. Got it. I'm relieved to hand over the milk, though. She shocks me when she takes all three like it doesn't. they don't weigh anything. Why have I been carrying them when she's this strong? I guess it doesn't matter. I stretch out my aching arms and start walking up and down the beach. I've done this a million times before, but tonight it feels different. The ocean air smells stronger, the air is a little warmer. This is the same beach I've walked up and down thousands of times, but it's different for me, to me now. Picking up the shells that the tide brought in, I find myself admiring them a little more. And I'm thankful for them, since they're gonna help Angie get home. They're not just useless. They're not just useless. Sometimes, pretty things on the beach anymore. Everything just feels a little bit more real. I'll m make my way back to the Angie and the empty milk gallons sitting on sand. Handed the shells, watching them disappear into the ship's surface like always. There's a little anxiety bubbling in my stomach, but my heart isn't racing like it usually does. Hmm. What is it? Good news, Tamir's finally recovery is at 100%. He just needs to do final checks tonight, and tomorrow we can bring, begin our journey home. Oh, that's great. Home. There's an ache in my chest. She's going to leave, and I'm never going to see her again. But once I'm not panicking because there's nothing scary about that. Angie's going home to go home and forget about me. Because that's how this works. And three wonderful days for me are likely not that special to her at all. I want to spend another day, night in your bed and with the cats, if you don't mind. Not at all. Even though I'm sad, I can't bring myself to voice it. It isn't something she needs to worry about after all, and I want her final night to be here to be a good one. I don't think either of us slept. Angie played with the cats for a while, and when we went to sleep she pressed up against me without a care in the world but she was quiet and definitely awake and I couldn't sleep either I wonder what's on her mind I'm going to miss her I can't tell her I can tell her that much maybe or maybe I'm going to choke on tears instead I've had a lot of fun with you for the past few days Hannah huh it's been refreshing being here with you I've grown very fond of you even though it's been brief you have? Of course. I'm not sure I've ever been happier than this. Her smile is so sweet, I feel like a, I feel a new kind of breathlessness. It's been a different experience being here. At home, I always, I'm always being chastised for one thing or another. I don't do things right. I'm not polite enough. I don't take my place in society seriously. 
And at all, always, I'm a nuisance to everyone around me. Being with you, you never made me feel like I ruined your day or that I couldn't do, can't do some, anything right. I didn't know what I would find when I landed here. I didn't know what might go wrong or if I would ever get home. But these past few days will be irreplaceable memories for me. You made me feel like I'm normal. I can't breathe. How could she just say these things? How could she feel this way? Honestly, I wish I could take you back with me. It would be nice to have a friend that there. I, I, you... I shake my head furiously, trying to get, get some semblance of order in my head. Everything is too fast, too intense, too much. I really like you, Angie. I can't imagine how some, someone like you doesn't have any friends at home. You're very kind to me, and you're so fearless, I can't help, help but admire you. I really like you. I'm happy you crashed here, and I'm happy to have gotten to meet you and spend time with you. I swallow, trying not to burst into tears. I'm having so many feelings, too many feelings, I don't know how to handle this or what to do. The words keep coming, and I don't even know where they're coming from. There's really nothing that here that makes me happy. There's not anything here for me. So, I'm really, really going to miss you. You're a good friend. The words empty out of me. I try to catch my breath, feel a strange tear roll down my cheek. Hannah, would, would you like to come with me back to Oshinate? I, I would be delighted to have you, and I think our atmospheres are similar enough to support you. Why did you want to miss the sun too much? I, I'd be honored to. I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to accompany the very important ambassador, Angeluxia, of planet Oshinake back to her home. A after all, I'm sure it's for the good of the universe or something, right? She blinks and then she laughs. Yes, it most certainly is. It's of utmost importance that I bring you back, for your knowledge of Earth. She offers her hand to me and I take it, stepping into the ocean with her. My shoes and coat are getting soggy, but I don't care. Around us, the moon reflects off the water and making me feel like I'm on another planet already. Though I guess I always felt like an alien on this one. So what difference does it really make? Going with Angie, I'll be more of an alien than I ever was here. And I'm sure it's going to be hard. But looking at the small waves around me, carrying the light of the moon with them, I think I'm okay with that. I can be okay with that. The end. We did it. That was a nice relaxing game. Alright, let's go to the down screen, which won't let us click anything. Da -da -da, it's broken. No. Written, uh, Wave of Light version 1.0. Character designs, art, and GUI by Bitter Aisheen. Written by Tabby Wright. Line edits and sound design by Rebecca Scoble. Sound effects, waves, free sound. Convenience store chime, free sound. Plastic bag, free sound. Beeping, Rebecca Scoble. <laughs> Beeping. <laughs> That's my name for a song. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that was a nice relaxing game. It was cool um, having two outcasts kind of come together that are like outcasts for separate reasons. One because of anxiety, the other because of being <laughs> too brash. But yeah, that was fun. A uh, nice relaxing game. I might play that, uh, there is no game at some point, I was just reading over all those reviews and I was just like, god dang. I was like, I get the meme, but damn, it's just, it's just like, there is a game, we get, yeah, uh, whatever. Alright guys, bye!